So let's see the simple example of uh, our app uh, we are calling Office Auth here to use uh, the resources and the data in the Office 365 data. The code is already there and we click at the project, uh, add or connect this particular app code to an Office 365 tenant. So I sign into my demo tenant to allow the use of Office 365 API, putting in my credentials. Password. So once it's, uh, it connects and um, gives the code access to the repository, uh, the data and the resources inside Office 365 through Office 365 APIs, uh, we will see the objects those are available. So at the moment it is uh, uh, talking with Office 365 in the background, logging in with, uh, with the credentials that I've already entered and it shows that in this day and these are the services available, calendar, contacts, mail and so on. So let's pick one. Let's uh, say we are going to allow this app to read um, the contacts from our app. We also need to allow or let this app have access to be able to sign in with our profile on our behalf and click OK. Uh, once this is done, the app is ready to act on our behalf to access the resources in Office 65. So let's run the app. And this is a web app, so it starts a web browser and not just the app inside the web browser. Once it's ready, we have the user interface using which we can uh, perform the functions or we, we can allow this app to perform the functions on our behalf. Now, Office 365 stores its credential data in Azure Active Directory. And whenever we access uh, the Office 365 or the app accesses, it has to access the Azure Active Directory. So let me sign in here. And as we sign in, we provide the credentials. The password. Sign in. Now the app is receiving the auth code from the uh, uh, Azure Active Directory and it is confirming back uh, and telling us these are the permissions that it will be having uh, to be able to access our data, our resources, the individual's uh, resources in Office 365. So I just go ahead and accept it and wait for the interface to appear. As the interface appears, you can see on the top it has locked me in as uh, uh, the user, the Office 365 user, uh, and the sign in has changed to sign out. So let's ask it to retrieve our contacts, so your people contacts. So I click on the my contacts and it shows me actually the people contacts which are there. And just to cross check, I can go directly to my Office 65 tenant from www.office.com to confirm that these are the people we were actually in my contact. If I were to add or uh, you know uh, uh, delete any of these, that will also reflect in my app. 